Welcome in everyone to Life Without Limits, where there are no limits to what you can achieve. I'm Joan Kaler. I'm your host. I am an international speaker, trainer, therapist, and consultant on emotional freedom techniques. And I'm so glad that you're joining me today for this podcast. This podcast, as usual, is very special because I am blessed with having the most wonderful guests on my show. Today, you want to stay tuned because we're going to talk about emotional freedom techniques for weight loss, especially over the upcoming holidays, which is, I'm recording this podcast in November. So we're going to get some special tips from my guest, Janet Hemning, on how to control food and how to control your appetite and how to eat healthy over the holidays. So I'm going to give you some information about Janet right now. Janet has, is, is and has been a massage therapist since 1993. And over time, she became interested in the emotions and body connection. She was on a search for information on emotional connection to our physical body. And as she would stumble across articles on massage journals, she realized this was an aspect of her career that she needed to study. One class led her to another and one book after another was read. And then she finally received a random email about EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, also known as tapping. That email supplied her with a tool that would take her down the road to freedom from the past hours, days, and even years. After a couple of years of training and experiencing the power of tapping, it came time for her to focus on her niche. There was no question about it. It had to be women and weight loss. Janet struggled most of her life with her weight, and now it was time to help other women experience that emotional freedom and self-acceptance in order to move forward in life without the shame, anger, blame, and all the other emotions we feel about ourselves and our weight loss that truly, the weight that truly hold us back. She is a certified EFT practitioner. She is certified in feng shui. She's a licensed massage therapist, and she is in the process of getting her certification in Eden Energy Medicine. Can you understand why Janet and I click so well? <laughs> She is interested in everything I am interested in. Mm. So welcome in, Janet. It is such an honor to have you on the show. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Joan. I'm so excited to be here. Oh uh, my. I'm, I'm really excited to share some information and just to, just to be in, in this program. It's so wonderful to have you. And of course, both Janet and I are certified in feng shui. So check out the beautiful background that Janet <laughs> has behind me. I have my mountain behind me to support me. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Janet, what is your story? How did you, what is your weight loss story? And how did you find well, freedom techniques? Um, you know, my own personal story, I have maintained now for about 20 years um, uh, of keeping about 70 pounds off from wow. where my highest weight was about, yeah, it was, it's been a bit, oh, just about 22 years now. And, uh, you know, unfortunately at the time I was having my weight issues and struggling with all of that since I was a child, um, I didn't know about EFT. I had no clue about EFT, you know, I just... When I was younger, I, I did go through some talk therapy, and that did help with some things. You know, it did help relieve some of the th my beliefs and, you know, things you deal with as a child and a teenager, you know, all that stuff that uh, creates you to feel bad about yourself to eat. But um, if I would have known EFT, I, I just feel that deep down it would not have been so hard, and it, it would have been able to clear a lot of things a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I did get it under control when I was in my early 40s. Um, I was always a very active girl when I was younger, always very athletic. So, you know, I always, people would always say, oh, you carry your weight so well, you know, because I was always very tall. I, you know, I was muscular and because of 
always being so active in, in uh, sports. But, you know, there comes a time where you just get tired in your life of constantly gaining and losing 20 pounds. You know, you're, you're, you lose 20 pounds, you put 25 back on. You, you know, you struggle again to lose that 25 and you put 26 back on. So wow. the yo-yo dieting was just, um, you know, it's depressing. It, you feel like a failure. You feel like a loser. You know, your self-esteem keeps going down. And so when I, um, when I finally discovered EFT, which is like through a random email, I got an email one day, uh, several, I'm guessing, I've been certified now for two years. So it's probably about four, four and a half years ago. I got an email from uh, Nick Ortner Tapping Solution. You know, it came through on through some connection of another email and you know how that goes. And I'm like, EFT, what the heck? You know, I've heard about it, but I knew nothing about it. And so he gave a brief demo. And I remember it was in the morning before I was headed to work. And he was doing just a brief tapping demo on um, body pain. And I had been suffering with a stiff neck for days. And, and, you know, of course, as a massage therapist, I didn't have time to go get a massage. And it's the same story. And, um, you know, I was doing yoga and all this other stuff, trying to release my stiff neck. And so he did like just this little three to five minute tapping session. And you notice where the pain is at. How does it feel? Blah. You know, you go through the whole process and I'm sitting in a chair. And I tap through it and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> my stiff neck is gone. Like, how does this happen? So before I left for work that day, I got on and I Googled, how do I learn this? You know, how, how do I, where do I go to school for this? I knew no place. I didn't know anything about who was doing it. And it just so happened that they were offering classes, level one classes in the Chicago area, which is where I live. And I mean, I immediately called one of my friends because we have talked about it. And I told her, I go, you got to watch that email. If you got that email, you got to watch it. So we both signed up like the next day for level wow. one class. In, and it, that was the beginning. And I was just, just completely intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. Completely intrigued. I mean, you know how fabulous EFT is. And and once you go EFT, you can't go back. No, you can't. <laughs> So I'm tapping all the, I mean, as soon as I started learning it, I, I mean, I, I just couldn't get enough of it online. I just, um, yeah. So as soon as I started learning it, and then when I realized the depth of it, of how you can go back into your life and start releasing those beliefs and shifting all your energy in your body. And, you know, and then I'm connecting it to, to the energy medicine aspect, which I was, had already been training in. And I'm like, holy cow, you mean, you mean I could get rid of my food cravings and I could like get rid of all this stuff. And, and then I started using it on myself for food cravings and, you know, my, my struggles, even though I had kept the weight off, you know, I would go up and down seven or eight pounds and then I would take it right, you know, mm -hmm. like I would just work it. I would never let it go past that 10 pound mark. You know, I was very diligent on that, but I just found it so much easier and less stress on myself, my mental stress to use the tapping to release the cravings and the binge eating and the whatever else I was going through. Wow. Yeah. 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 So now in your own journey, what was your highest weight? I was up to about 242. Wow. And you mentioned that you were tall, that people said you carry your weight well. How tall yeah, are you? Yeah, I was, I was five. Well, now I'm starting to come down in size <laughs> in my height. But I, I always was 5'8". I think I was 5'8 by the time I was five years old. That's how oh I Oh, my gosh. I always, that, well, I wasn't, but I always, that's my perception. It's like I was always the tallest girl among all my girlfriends. Uh, you know, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I'm grateful for it now. But when you're a kid. Yes, yes, yes. And you have all these petite girlfriends that are 5'2", you know, and 102 pounds. Okay. And, you know, and, and me as a teenager, I was 5'8", and I don't even remember what I weighed, but I was always the largest girl among all my girlfriends. Before you found out about emotional freedom techniques. I can, I can, I have maintained between 165 to 170. 
um, for the past about 22 years. Wow. And okay. um, I can tell when I start going up over 175, my clothes will start fitting differently. But it was mm. about 22 years ago. I, I actually think it was when I was at my, uh, one of my doctors and, and she said to me, and I had to be in my early 40s, and, and this is kind of crazy talk to talk about on an interview, but um, she said, I'm just telling you right now, if you don't get your weight under control now, mm -hmm. as you go through menopause, it's going to get harder. Oh, okay. And that hit my brain like, oh my God, I've got to really get serious about this and do something about it. So even though I always exercised, I really took it seriously and I could just completely change my lifestyle as far as my eating habits. Um, I, you know, I made sure that I was eating much healthier, um, started really paying attention in depth about how much exercise I was doing without injuring myself. And that's when I discovered yoga Okay. to bring the, um, just to change my entire energy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And so, you know, once I started doing that, and again, back then, 20 some years ago, I didn't know about EFT. Mm -hmm. And I just really did a lot of self um, soul searching. I did a lot of reading of books. I did it all the healthy way. I did it the right way. I, I worked on myself. Good for you. Oh which my is, gosh. You know, Joan, because now that I've studied all of this EFT and, and weight loss, that's pretty much what it comes down to is we have to work on ourselves for self-acceptance yes. and self-love before we're ever going to take that weight off and keep it off. Okay. And, and I learned that. I learned it again. I learned it. It took me a lot longer because I can't tell you how many books I read and, and, and just um, movies and, and just all, whatever I could get my hands on. I'm like, I just got to figure out how to do this and quit struggling with this wow. and figure out why I'm having such a hard time keeping it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of it, it goes back now that, you know, I've been doing EFT, you know, a lot of it goes back to my childhood because, and I don't blame anybody. Don't get me wrong. I blame nobody. You know, that generation of uh, the kids I grew up with and my parents' generation, they were doing the best they could. They didn't know any better, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, they would say things like, which came out through the use of EFT with other people, you know, like my parents' generation, they say, oh, Janet, you're so beautiful. And you know how much more beautiful you'd be if you lost 20 pounds? Oh, geez. You know, so they would say things. So then I'd be like, well, I guess I'm not very beautiful if, oh. as long as I'm heavy, you know, and, and, you know, my mom always thought it was the right thing to do. Like it would bribe me into losing weight. You know, but when you're 12, 13 years old mm -hmm. and you're being bribed, <laughs> it doesn't quite or, work. No, no, that's, that I mean, would have shamed you instead. Absolutely. But, oh. and again, I don't put blame on anybody, but, you know, I always say, you know, nobody survived childhood without a few bumps and grinds and bruises and, and, you know, a little bit of things you take into your, your adulthood. Uh, you know, I grew up with three brothers. I was the only girl. <laughs> And, you know, wow. my, my mom would, would cook like crazy and, you know, she would put mashed potatoes and fried chicken on the table and she'd say, oh, now Jan, don't take too much of that. That's for the boys because <laughs> you don't need those mashed potatoes. Oh, you know, so, you know, that's what you're raised with. Well, so now if anybody hears any messages like that, they can use EFT to tap. Yes. Out. So I have been using EFT regularly since I've learned it on all of those childhood memories and all those that programming that was put into me when I was a child of yes you know you're not pretty if you're fat you're not you're not a you know you're not this or or you know it, boys it's okay for boys to be heavy but not girls wow okay you know a lot of programming that went on on there now let's for those who may not know what emotional freedom techniques are. Oh, yes. Go ahead and tell everybody. What well, it, it, it's a technique that everybody can learn. 
And it, you know, once you get to learn it, you can use it any place. And it's a matter of tapping meridian endpoints on your body. Mm -hmm. And you're focusing on the negative, which sounds crazy, but we're focusing on the negative event and neg or, or the event and the negative emotion that you still feel about that event or that moment or that whatever it is that you created this belief from. And so you, you, work, you focus on the emotion that you're feeling at the moment about that event that happened in the past. And we, it's a process that you work with, and it's best probably to start with the practitioner on um, some things, just to get to the feel of it and to get to know how to do it and to experience the shift in the emotional um, charge in your body. Um, but you're gonna tap through the meridian endpoints to move the energy. And you know, there's a lot of science behind it and it's lowering the cortisol in your brain when you think about that, mm -hmm. that event and a lot of um, shifts happen in your body, energetic shifts. But what it does in the long run is it, it creates an openness and it creates a, a, a time where you can actually think clearer. So you don't have that, that cortisol running high and you can't make wise choices and decisions on how you're feeling about that event. So it, 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 it just opens up all this all the possibilities so that you could say, you know what? And that's how it came to me. It's like, my mom didn't mean anything bad by that. Mm -hmm. okay. She, that's, she was, she loved me so much and she didn't know how to deal with that. You know, my mom never had a weight problem. My, my mom, my mom was the worst eater in the entire world, <laughs> but she never have a, had a weight problem. So she could never relate with that. Okay. You know, she, she could never relate with that. So what tapping seems to do is when you lower the cortisol, then you have this shift and you look at the event from a different perspective. Absolutely. So my perspective on all of these um, comments, um, events, um, all the teasing I went through as a child for being heavy or fat, whatever you want to call it. You know, my brothers would, would call me all kinds of names. It was just horrible. But, you know, by tapping, it gave me a different perspective of it. Okay. Where I didn't take the blame and I released the hurt emotions and I released the, the, all the, those negative feelings I had when I think about those days when I would get teased incessantly by my brothers or my cousins because, you know, I had one girl cousin and everybody else was boys in my family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it was, and she also, my girl cousin also suffered, you know, you know, struggled with our weight. We, we just compare those stories to this day. Oh, and now we both have it under control. Okay. But, you know, we talk about the stories of how, you know, the tough times it was as a younger person, a younger woman, and even into my twenties and my thirties and, and what happens then, because you're, as you get older and older. Well, in my case, you start to have such low self-esteem that now you, you attract um, not so healthy relationships into your life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, but you don't know what you're doing at that time. You know, you have, I didn't know anything about why I'm attracting unhealthy relationships into my life until I get, you know, start reading all these books in my forties and work, figuring out how I'm going to get control of my life and my health and my weight. I'm like, holy cow, <laughs> there's a lot to know here. <laughs> but you have, you walk the walk. You I walked the walk. walk. Yeah. Right. I walk right. it now. I just, so I can relate with these women that struggle with this. Yes. Yes. You know, and and everybody and that's listening out there, I'm so glad that you're hearing Janet's story that you know that there's hope available and Absolutely. that you can't control us. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is Janet is also in part two and part three, Janet is going to share some stories of clients that she has worked mm -hmm. with using EFT to help them with their weight loss issues and with cravings. So everybody, thank you for tuning in. And stay tuned for part two of EFT for weight loss.